Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. The usual thing that we do here almost every day, besides the match reviews and that wonderful stuff. Today, we're going to be talking in sort of almost a rant style video again, because I just feel a little ranty lately, feel a little chit chatty, uh, talking about creators that come crawling back to Dead by Daylight. So I'm sure that you've noticed recently that a lot of people that had previously sworn off DBD and said they would never play again are like unretiring <laughs> from playing Dead by Daylight, like they said they would never come back. Obviously, one of the big things that brought people back was the 2v8 game mode that was a huge reason a lot of people came back to the game but even after the 2v8 game mode ended a lot of people are still unretiring for dbd it feels like you know they are being potentially influenced by a lot of other creators that are similar to them that quit uh coming back that maybe they could come back too so we have a lot of old names like dowsy coming back into the mix who previously had sworn off dbd and actually the dowsy thing is actually the reason this video uh came into fruition because uh one of the friends of the channel middle door did a interview uh, with Dowsy, and one of the comments on that video said that Dowsy's return was disingenuous, which I feel like is a sentiment I see a lot, both in Twitch streams and across many YouTube channels, is that people that quit and come back to DBD are disingenuous, they don't stick to their word, they're frauds, etc. People get very, very upset and very, very angry about it, and wish the people would stay away. So I kind of wanted to just, like, talk about that today, because it's a very interesting phenomena that I've noticed in the Dead by Daylight community, so yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So first, I wanted to kind of ID what I feel like is the big reason that people get the most upset about this is I, I feel like Dead by Daylight creators that quit DBD, they don't just quit DBD, right? Like if I don't feel like doing something anymore or I, ha I have like a kind of a meaningful reason to not do something anymore, I kind of just phase it out. <laughs> That's just like the way I go about things. Like I'm not like, guys, I'm gonna make an announcement. And, and frankly, every time I've made an announcement about something, there's always somebody that like takes issue with it. There are people that are like, heck yeah. And there are people that are like, heck no. And it creates like almost more fuss than it's worth to just announce something. It is to just like kind of phase it out. and just make the adjustment but usually when dead by daylight creators quit they kind of give like this huge manifesto of like all the things they despise about the game and it's it they make it out to be a very very big deal like behavior made dead by daylight and i played dead by daylight and daylight daylight divorced me took the kids now i have to pay child support like they take it very very seriously obviously they're the, the meat and potatoes of that besides the joke there is that it's like okay well map design's been terrible forever behavior's really slow to make changes they're very slow to make changes on things that are important and scary like the trickster epilepsy bug that happened a while back but the point being is that there's a lot of things that they cite and make a big stink about when leaving dead by daylight and they paint dbd as this very just almost entirely negative frustrating and awful experience and almost like they went through a very very tortured experience while playing the game so obviously you hear that and hear how much not fun they're having and how much they detest their experience playing Dead by Daylight that it's really weird when they come back to it after, you know, making like a 20 minute manifesto of all the things they absolutely despise about the video game. Why would you come back to that game? <laughs> Which, you know, people have a point with that. Um, I know there's people in the in the in the content creator sphere in the community here who <laughs> every single time a new asim comes out whether it be vhs killer clowns from outer space whatever it happens to be just every single time there's a new asim that comes out texas chainsaw massacre was another big one uh that whenever a new asim comes out they just hop on the bandwagon they're just like oh guys i'm finally quitting dbd because x new game came out and i'm gonna go play x new game see you guys i can finally quit playing this terrible game and then they're always back in three months right <laughs> they're always back in three months they are always back within three months of them saying that it is it is like clockwork they go in they play the game during its honeymoon phase the honeymoon of the game the honeymoon phase of the game ends and then they come crawling back almost every single time every single time and it's 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 almost kind of embarrassing to see because once again like a you know the whole point of of this point here uh they they make such a big stink about how miserable dead by daylight is to play and how much they hate it that it quite frankly doesn't make any sense for them to just come crawling back every single time um so it's just silly to make such a a, a giant proclamation and then just go back on it over and over and it, it makes people annoyed I think overall, in the grand scheme of things, it, it's still, like, the best for us, right? Like, it's what's best for the game, and overall, by proxy, that makes it what's best for us. Uh, one of the things that I think is very, very interesting coming next year is the Five Nights at Freddy's Club. Obviously, there's going to be some... Uh, 
bells and whistles with that that's gonna be kind of <laughs> you know uh like the very volatile and often immature community that comes with it uh that's not a diss in the finance of freddy's community uh finance of freddy fans will tell you that there are good ones and they're also really bad ones <laughs> they will tell you that themselves um but with the the community problems that will potentially rise up with that uh, it's definitely worth it. It's 100% worth it because it's going to be a new big boom for Dead by Daylight. So many new players are going to come into the game that we didn't have before. And more money for behavior means more money to fix bugs and issues that we have. It's more uh, people that they can hire to increase the quality of the game. Like, it's just overall, we benefit from that. So it's kind of like a similar thing with here is like if there's a big content creator, like a big following, and there are people that exclusively follow that content creator and what they do and play the games that they do, um, that's good that they're coming back to the game because the the people, the people that followed them that only played the games that the community plays will start playing DBD again, which means they will be putting in the hours, they'll be putting in money into skins, into rifts and stuff like that. Like it's just a net, it's a net positive for us. Even if it's just like the publicity of having like another big streamer playing Dead by Daylight, it raises more awareness of the game and its existence, which will get more people to get on the game and play it. So like it's one of those things where it's really, really frustrating and annoying and it makes sense why it's frustrating and annoying but overall it's really what's best for us right like we want as many people playing the game as possible especially people with big followings and big communities it makes the most sense to have as many of those people playing the game as possible i think it's almost like a word of caution you know it's like if you're gonna like quit the game or take a break don't like burn down the house as you're leaving don't burn the bridge because <laughs> you may find yourself coming back to that bridge and going guys i'm actually not done and then you're gonna look like silly when we have to help you back across because you burned the bridge as you went out uh, you know <laughs> like it's just it's just kind of ridiculous so i feel like i need to just be like a little bit more careful about like i hate dvd and i'm never gonna play this again this piece of garbage this trash and then it's like okay i'll see you in three months bud <laughs> they just need to be a little bit more careful about that need to be way more careful about that so yeah what do you guys think about this funny little situation that always seems to happen with Dead by Daylight? Do you welcome creators back with open arms that have quit the game? Or are you on that side there like, hey, you said you hate this game, so you should probably just stay away. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below. Well, that is going to be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching. But I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.